most of the time when you follow your passion, it's the road less traveled. You know what I'm saying? And it's a harder path. To fall in line with the norm, it's more common. When I told my mom and everybody, all my friends around me that I wanted to start a rock band and I wasn't gonna go to college and do that stuff, some people looked at me like, Well, you know, I, I always loved music growing up. That was my thing. I loved music. I was passionate about it. Um, played in school band, you know, so I was a band geek. And then it wasn't until high school that I started going to shows to go see the Deftones in Sacramento. After going to those shows and being in the mosh pit and feeling the energy and just the whole overall vibe, I was just like, that's what I want to do. I think once I got a taste of uh, playing live in front of crowds and getting that experience and that exchange of energy, and that's really when I knew all right, this is for me. We had to fight for every little success that we had. You know what I'm saying? If we had 200 kids at the show, that was mega success, you know? And so early on, it was, it was, a, it was a battle, but we found through our career, it's always been a battle. You know, we had our dream of being in a rock band. That's our, that's our young kid, young man dream. Now it's like we're adults, like what's our adult dreams? Well obviously it's still music, it's it's affecting people with music on a deep level, you know what I'm saying? I love things that put me in the moment and uh, that's, that's a, uh, for me it's just, that gives me peace. You know, coming up on three years sober, which is awesome, I'm more motivated and more driven and more passionate about my music than I believe I ever have been and more confident as well. I think that was the last thing that uh, kind of my addiction took away from me was my confidence as a creative person. What's amazing is that we're still around doing it. Like that's, and I think that's a testament to us struggling as a young band. Uh, we didn't get signed until like six years, seven years after we started Papa Roach. So those seven years of being broke, doing it in a van, doing it because we love the music, because we were passionate about it, that's what gave us the brotherhood and the strength to endure the times out here as a successful band because this business will break bands real quick. Everything is involved in the success of what we've done, whether it's our conviction as a band to what we believe in, luck, timing, hard work, mixed with some more fucking hard work, backed by some more hard work. You know what I'm saying? I believe uh, hard work pays off in the end over time. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I the greatest singer in rock and roll? No. You know what I'm saying? Are we the greatest band in rock and roll? I don't know. Are we passionate about what we do? Hell yeah. And that's that's what matters. And 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 when it comes to that point where, you know, push comes to shove or things are about to fall apart, do we back down? No, we just push harder.